I am back with part two from last week's video, which were fragrances that will give you an edge. Today I'm going to share with you six fragrances from featured brands at Synth Explorer that I chose from samples that I absolutely love. And these are going to be six fragrances that will make you stand out in the crowd. So if you want to check out these six standout scents, stick around. They're up next. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be a top video that's going to be around fragrances that will make you stand out in the crowd. If you want a fragrance that's generic, that's uh, you know more of the same, this is not the video for you. But if you love to stand out, to make a statement when you walk into a room, people really uh, you know stop in their tracks and look and ask you, what are you wearing? These will definitely make that happen, guys. So let's kick things off with the first one here from the house of Kieran NYC. This is going to be a rose-based scent enveloped by this beautiful saffron leathery undertone. A little bit of oud action going on. It just smells amazing, guys. It smells like a million bucks. It's not obtrusive. It's not a fragrance that's going to be obnoxious. It's going to be a fragrance that's going to make you stand out in a very good way. Uh, I go as far as saying that it's very unique, but you can wear this for not only formal occasions, but casual wearings for romantic dates. Not only it's stand out, but it's also versatile. It's very unique, I give it that, but it's done in a way that's blended so perfectly that you can, depending on how you apply, how much or how less, you'll be able to wear this in a multitude of occasions, and especially if you want to stand out in the crowd. And the nose behind this one here is Jerome Pinat, and I have to say it, he nailed it, guys. This is one of my favorite discoveries of 2020 so far, Kieran NYC's Rose Ink. Next up, we have a fragrance from somebody from the fragrance community, one of us here, one of our reviewers. He came up with a fragrance line called Naughton and Wilson. Of course, I'm talking about Mr. Smelly 77. I have a full review on this fragrance. If you guys want to check it out, I'll pop it up here for you guys. And this is Naughton Wilson's Gravitas Pohom. This fragrance here, guys, a modern day masterpiece. I love this stuff. It brings forth this old world, you know, quaint and very um, sophisticated elegance from the old time fougeres, but it adds this incredible modern twist to the fragrance with vanilla, with benzoin. There's a lot of resins in here. I'm going to share a little anecdote with you guys. My wife doesn't actually like the fougeres that I love. She thinks they're dated, smells like her grandpa. I get it. But when I want to, you know, remind myself of my grandpa, my father, I always gravitate towards those fragrances and you know, our tastes are always changing. I do like the youthful, I do like the, the modern stuff, but I also have a hankering for those fragrances sometimes and I think this is the best of both worlds. In fact, my wife actually loved this fragrance and she doesn't normally like modern f uh, fougeres on my skin. So goes to show that this is not just a normal fougere that has patchouli, has all these really cool elements but it's done in a way that it's really enticing and very alluring, guys. Gravitas Porom here at the fifth spot for a standout fragrance. You may be asking, why are you featuring Gravitas or Naughton and Wilson? Are they going to have a booth? Are they going to be part of the event? Not the brand itself, but the creator, the creative mind behind the brand, you know, Mr. Smelly 77, Dan Naughton will be present and he will grace us with his quirky and witty uh, self. So I'm just gonna leave it at that for you guys. On to the next one. Next up, we have a house that is just breathtaking. And this particular fragrance, for those that love patchouli, this is a must try. This is from Christian Provenzano, and the fragrance is Patchouli Noir or Dark Patchouli. Now, this stuff here, look at the sprayers on this stuff, man. Beast, and you can't control. It's a spice dark patchouli, as the name implies. It is a great fragrance for those that like patchouli. This is a must-have. And I go as far as saying that all these fragrances, with the exception of this one here, which is a little bit more masculine, everything here is gender-free where anybody can wear. And this one here, it reminds me of if you took a lot of dark elements and spices with patchouli, of course, drenched in those spices and perhaps like something boozy into this. And the dry down, it gives me an effect of Chanel Mademoiselle goes dark. I feel like you took Chanel Mademoiselle and you drenched, drenched it with this dark inky patchouli that has all the spicy and dark elements. That's the kind of fragrance I get. The patchouli is obviously the star player here. If you love patchouli, this is a must try and it's definitely going to make you stand out in the crowd. Next up, we have a fragrance that's celebrating their 100th anniversary this year and they released a commemorative piece. This is going to be Bois 1920 and the fragrance is Centenario, which is exactly 100 years and this particular fragrance guys 
it is very unique. This is not for the faint of heart. It's very spicy, especially in the beginning. It gets creamy as it dries down, but the beginning can be a little sharp, a little bit off-putting. But one thing is for sure, it is exotic, it's unique, and it's definitely gonna make you stand out. Tons of spices here, cinnamon cloves. There's a gorgeous coconut note in here. If you love coconut, it's gonna add this tropical creamy vibe to the fragrance. So the beginning is gonna be a little sharp, but also when you get to the heart, you have this coconut, some floral components, a very endolic and natural smell, jasmine combined with ylang ylang. And the dry down with white musk and iris, it's just divine, guys. I'm telling you right now, this fragrance here will turn heads and give you that standout effect if you're looking to get that kind of a fragrance that leaves that kind of a presence, guys. Bois 1920, Centenario, guys, at the fourth spot. Next up, we have a fragrance from the Italian house, Mask Milano, which is a great discovery I made a few years ago, and I love everything they put out. From Hemingway, which is a fantastic vetiver fragrance, to Mandala, which is an awesome spicy scent. And of course, this is my favorite from the brand, and this happens to be from Cecile Zerokin, which is Tango. Cecile Zerokin, in my opinion, is one of the best upcoming master perfumers of our time. She has created incredible releases, you know, revolving notes of vanilla and spices. I think she works beautifully with vanillas, and this is going to be an amber, spicy amber, sweet vanilla type of a fragrance with spices. It's just incredible fragrance, guys. Tango, oh, it smells like a million bucks, guys. I wish you could smell this here. Almost has this boozy effect, even though I don't think booze is listed in one of the notes. It smells like a intoxicating liqueur. This is an elixir of gods, if you will, guys. You know, pardon my excitement, but I absolutely love this stuff. I'm enamored, I wish I could drink this. Amazing creation from Mosque Milano, a must try. By the way, not just the fragrances that you see here from part one or part two, even part three, we have a lot of brands that will be featured at Scent Explore, but the great thing is they'll be launching new releases and talking about those such releases and announcements at Scent Explore 2020, including Mosque Milano. So, don't miss out, guys. Next up from a house that you guys heard me talk about a lot, also makes my professional um, standout fragrance lists, just like this one. And it's from a house that doesn't have many releases, but everything they put their hands on, I love because it has that spicy lavender slash barbershoppy fougere type of vibe that I absolutely love. And the fragrance I'm talking about is the original Saharoff from 2019 Signature Ohm. I do enjoy Noir and Royale. If you guys missed that, those fragrances uh, reviews, I'm gonna pop it up here so you guys can check out those reviews. I actually like to layer those two fragrances together to get the most out of them. But this one here is a modern day masterpiece, guys. An incredible fougere. Love this stuff. There's so many different nuances to the fragrance. Adds patchouli to the lavender, adds a whole bunch of spices, it adds oud to the fragrance. So it's a fougere with a twist, if you will. But needless to say, it has this understated elegance and sophisticated about it that's uncanny and without a shadow of a doubt will make you stand out and will get people turning their heads and asking, who smells this good in here? Saharov Signature Om, amazing, guys. If you haven't checked this out, I urge you to try this. If you have your taste similar to mine, you're gonna love this stuff. All these fragrances will give you that standout feel it all depends on your taste, whether you want to go with the patchouli scent, whether you want to go with the crazy coconut, you know, exotic type of a scent with, with spices, whether you want to go with the fougere, you know, two different fougere options here. This is more oriental. This is, uh, it's got some oriental twists, but it, it, it's really, you know, the core of it is going to be that fougere barbershop. This is going to be more of a patchouli bomb. And of course, tango, amber, sweet, vanilla and spices, and of course the rose ink, which is an incredible leather oud, you know, rose combination. All standout fragrances, incredible, all featured at Scent Explore 2020. All will have special savings for you, of course, if you register now, still the time I'm releasing this video, there's I think a little less than 100 still Scent Explore bags to go, but don't miss out. Regardless of the samples, guys, of course it's awesome to get samples, but there's gonna be tons of giveaways, bottles, sample kits, it's gonna be one for the books, guys. Musical presentations, live presentations, you know, conversation panels. Cecil Zerokin will be there to talk about fragrance, niche perfumery. It's gonna be amazing. I hope to see you guys there on December 5th, Saturday from 1 p.m. Eastern until 11 p.m. Eastern, guys. Be there or be square. All details in the description for you guys. I hope to see you all there. It's gonna be a great and fun event. And of course, reminding you, it's the first of its kind, the first in the world, it's the first for us too, the first convention, niche perfume convention, virtual, which means anyone can attend from anywhere in the world. Can't wait to see you. As always, guys, if you appreciate the content, if you want to see more top videos, if you appreciate what I do here to keep you in the know within the fragrance world, please 
leave me one of these, touch the little subscriber for me, make my day please, it only takes a second of yours, and don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get videos and content straight into your feed. As always remember, fragrance is emotion in motion, so wear what truly moves you. See you again real soon, right here. Take care.